goes into the ground, but it is very soon, and we're very happy about that, that we're finally at that phase. As you know, bids had been awarded to the contractors at the high school, so we're anxious for that project to start soon. And on that note, we will be having a community meeting to discuss the phasing of the high school construction project that's going to take place on Tuesday, May 22nd, right here in the freeze lobby at 6.30 p.m. And the purpose of the meeting is really to review exactly during what stages of the project different events are going to be taking place. As people are well aware, we have everything from the building of an auxiliary gym to construction of a new entrance, to moving of some of our fields, to some interior work with our locker rooms and athletic facilities. So all of these things are going to require a significant amount of structural coordination, including changing where people will be coming in and out of the school, entrance and exits, parking and so forth. So we wanna make sure that the community members are well aware of what those plans are. I know there's already been a phasing meeting discussion at the high school with the staff so that they're aware as well. So we're going to have our team of architects and engineers here on May 22nd in order to help lead that discussion about the phasing of this project over the next few years. Um, we've also advertised that meeting extensively. It's going to be coming out in the enterprise. We have an ad coming out also, um, information about this meeting in the Springfield Sun. We're also sending letters to some of our neighbors who will be most directly impacted by the construction on Fraser Road, as we did last year before we began the stadium project. So everyone should be well aware of the meeting coming up. Um, as far as the elementary school, uh, bids were due today. Uh, they will be opened tomorrow, so that's always like Christmas morning, opening up the bids and getting all excited. And we're hopeful that we got bids that are in line with the estimates that have been provided in terms of the funding for the project. We will be presenting the bid information to the members of the property committee at our next meeting, which is on Friday, May 11th. So hopefully we'll have some good bids and a number of bidders and uh, we'll see what we get at that time. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thanks very much, Dr. Hacker. Okay, new business, um, number one personnel agenda uh, recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the following personnel as presented in the attachment. Administrative personnel, certificated personnel, support personnel, temporary personnel, extra pay for extra responsibilities, conference workshop attendance. Is there a motion? And a second? Any comments, questions? I just had a quick question, just out of curiosity. Um, I see that there's some students on the agenda um, for summer work, and I was just curious about what the position summer student technology support does. Mr. Oliver, would you like to speak in a little bit of detail about what that position entails for those workers? Technology support during the summer can be labor work as far as uh, returning the devices, cleaning them, packaging them uh, for shipment for repair or learning how to actually repair them. Some of the students are returning from last year, so they already have a basis for what they start on, so they may be replacing screens, doing learning to do inventory, checking them in and out, uh, and various functions throughout the, the district with all technology. But, uh, we are doing a uh, network upgrade in the middle school, so they'll be uh, assisting there, but uh, they're always with our technology folks and uh, learning new things. Okay. Mr. Chatton, Ms. Jordan, Mr. Lapidus, Mr. Rayer, Ms. Sarsfield, Ms. Slipinski, Dr. Karatuski. Aye. Number two, election of assistant superintendent, recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the motion to enter into a contract with Dr. Mary Jo Yannacone to serve as the assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction for the term of July 1, 2018 through June 30th, 2021 at a salary of $178,000. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Dr. 
Mr. Hacker, did you have anything to say about this? I was going to wait until I heard board approval. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Mr. King. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Slipinski. Aye. Dr. Tarakowski. Aye. So now I'll take the opportunity. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Sure. Well, first of all, of course, we're sorry to lose Dr. Atkinson, who will be retiring at the end of June after his wonderful service to the district for the past several years. Um, and we'll be thanking you again at a later date, Carl. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we have to find a replacement. And I'm very, very thankful that after a rather lengthy process and some really excellent candidates, we feel that we've really selected an outstanding candidate in Dr. Yana Cohn. We're very much looking forward to her coming on board. She's already planning for several transition meetings here in the district with a number of the administrators, including Dr. Atkinson. And she's also given me a long list of things that she's expecting me to give to her. So she's obviously thought long and hard about her needs coming into the district, all the different types of documents and so forth. And she's also asked me for a number of dates of events taking place in the district between now and the end of the year. And she's hoping to be able to come to not only school events, but also district events as well. So Mary Jo, thank you for your willingness to do that. I know it's hard to have a foot in both worlds. You're still finishing up your responsibilities at Wallingford Swarthmore, as well as trying to become acclimated to your new home. And we certainly hope it will be your home for the next several years. So welcome to our district. We're thrilled to have you. Item three, transportation director, recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the appointment of Nathan Bray to the transportation director position effective July 1, 2018 at a salary of $88,000. This appointment is contingent upon Mr. Bray meeting all statutory requirements. Is there a motion? And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Ms. Slipinski, Dr. Taratuski. Aye. So Mr. Bray is here with us tonight. Nate, wave your hand for those board members who may not recognize you. Um, last year, we created a new position in the Transportation Department, Supervisor of Transportation, knowing full well that Wayne Johnston was intending to retire after many, many years of service in the district. And so our intention was to try to find the ideal candidate who could come in, who could learn the ropes in the Transportation Department. And when Mr. Johnston left, he could either take over as the director or or be corporate memory, so to speak, to the new hire. So Nate also went through a very intensive process. He ended up meeting with, uh, through several rounds, with all of the administrators. And after finally becoming one of two finalists, he really did rise to the top. I see Dr. Johnston, Damien, not Wayne, uh, <laughs> nodding her head. Um, we do put candidates through the ringer in terms of making sure we find the right one. Nate has really done an outstanding job all year. He's earned the trust and the respect of all of the workers down in the transportation department. He's extraordinarily knowledge knowledgeable. He brings a combination of both public school experience as well as outside vendor experience in terms of the transportation world. He's been a wonderful resource when we've had members of the community call with questions. He's responded immediately. So he's really outstanding in terms of his communication with parents. So Nate, we want to thank you for your service over the past year. We're looking forward to having you come on board and making some good changes down in the transportation department. And we know that uh, you're going to do an outstanding job just as you have over the course of the last year. Item four, MCIU agreement for shared student services. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the 2018-2019 intergovernmental agreement for shared student uh, special education and related services with the MCIU. Is there a motion? Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. King?
Aye. Number five, German exchange program recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the German exchange program, German American exchange program carousel student tours with students from Karlsruhe, Germany to visit the United States October 18th through November 1st, 2018 and the STHS German students to visit Germany in the beginning of 2019 summer break. Is there a motion? A second? Any comments or questions? <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, in other words, students who are taking German, <laughs> who wish to go to Germany, will be paying for their own trip to go. Are there other exchange programs that the school has had, or is this the first time that there's been an exchange program? It's not the first time. We used to have, for several years running, a program with Italy where we had students that went to Italy as part of an exchange, and then Italian students came here as well. Most of the exchange students that we have now, though, are individuals that are sponsored through an organization. I have another question. So will the students from Germany be attending classes here for the, what is it, I guess a week and, and change or? Yes, their day consists of not only attending classes but also visiting areas ar around and outside of Philadelphia. So they do a combination of both. But they will be sitting in on classes while they're here. Thanks. Any other questions? Mr. King? Hi. Number six, MCIU Regional WAN Services Contract. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the internet services contract between Springfield Township School District and the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit, number 23, for a period July 1, 2018 through June 30, 2019, in the amount of $18,266. Attachment AAA. Is there a motion? And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Okay, Mr. King. Aye. Any public comments on non-agenda items? Okay. Future meeting dates. Uh, the next school board meeting will be held on Monday. May 14th, 2018 at 7 p.m. in the Freeze Memorial Lobby, and the interim board meeting will be held on Tuesday, June 5th, 2018 at 7 p.m. here in the Freeze Memorial Lobby. There are three board committee meetings. Um, academic Affairs will be held on Thursday. That would be this Thursday, May 3rd, 2018 at 5 p.m. in the Administration Building. Finance Committee is Thursday, May 10th, 2018 at 5.15 in the Administration Building and Property Committee will be held Friday, May 11th um, at 8.15 in the Administration Building, 8.15 in the morning in the Administration Building. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you, everyone. We're adjourned. <laughs>